Okay, so here we're going to answer our question. Um, can you think of an application of statistics in psychology? So I offer you some of the many um, answers to that. So we're going to, to uh, look at the applications of statistics and psychology. Um, this is taken from a website um, authored by Cherry 2020. So statistics allow psychologists to first organize data. Okay? So when dealing with an enormous amount of information, especially when you have finished observing a group of people, shall we say, for, for some emotional um, dilemma, it is all too easy to become overwhelmed. Statistics allow psychologists to present data in ways that are easier to comprehend. Visual displays such as graphs, pie charts, frequency distributions, and scatter plots allow researchers to get a better overview of data and look for patterns they might otherwise miss. So basically, when statistics use, or when psychologists use statistics in order to organize data, um, it would help out and to see the patterns and um, things that would otherwise be um, not seen. Also, statistics allow psychologists to describe data. Think about what happens when researchers collect a great deal of information about, say, a group of people. This, um, every time in the Philippines, every five years, we, we do that five-year census. So, for example, censuses. Um, descriptive statistics provide a way all right, to summarize facts such as how many men and women there are, how many children there are, and how many people are currently employed and such. So, um, that's it. Descriptive statistics. And we're going to deal with that first. And then we're going to go deeper and dig into the world of inferential statistics. Lastly, statistics allow psychologists to make inferences based on data. By using what's known as inferential statistics, which will be the second portion of our discussion right here, researchers can infer things about a given sample or population. Psychologists use the data they have collected to test a hypothesis. Okay, a hypothesis is uh, basically traditional definitions is a hypothetical is a it's an education educated guess, right? So using physical analysis, researchers can determine the likelihood that the hypothesis should be either rejected or otherwise or not rejected. Okay, so um, everyone, this is some of the many applications of statistics, and we want to emphasize that again, um, statistics can indeed and will be useful, we will need that when we study and venture the world of psychology. Thank you very much.